Find that for me. Think I got a picture? Guys, if you want to step up back to the end oh, and fill out the waiver, fuck. then you're set. Oh, holy Merry fuck. Christmas! Holy fuck, man. A lot of fucking people here. Except five people. <laughs> <laughs> it was like five? Dude, they were lined up when I got here. What? Yeah, like, like came all the way from Arizona, man. Hey, this looks like fucking here. Come on, there's so many up people in this bitch. Like the it's it's like six people, bro. Oh, this is crazy. Fill out the waiver, guys. Pick one. It's the same thing. Bro. Fill it down in its entirety, please. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Yeah, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Yeah, where's the flex at? There we go. Damn, bro. It's a madhouse in here. What's going on today? Uh, Christmas morning, Christmas day. I invited the whole squad. Uh, I sent out a mass text. Not really. I'm not a real mass text. Like, I'll show you guys. Well, I'm going to show people here in person, but I sent out a text to everybody. Um, and apparently, they got it. I sent out a text, and apparently, everyone got it. It's a free, free lift day. Christmas is like a little tradition of mine, a little holiday tradition of mine. I'm going to tell you guys the reason why. Um, so, like, every Christmas, like, growing up, like, legit, every Christmas, once I found the gym, it was always something I tried to get done, like, I remember, I think the gym hours back in my hometown were, like, I don't know, must have been, like, 7 to, like, 11, or, and, they, and you'd, be, you'd be able to work out for those hours, and this was a 24-hour fitness, um, or I'd find random, like, hole-in-the-wall gyms that were, would open up just for that day. So whenever I had, whenever I opened my gym, I always wanted to have a Christmas Day lift, um, where the gym would be open because I know most gyms are closed. Number one, but number two, because this day was always like the most special day for me to lift, and I always, I always just had the best workouts because I feel like most of the time, if I was in a gym, there was probably like maybe like only a few other people who were like weird enough to be in the gym on Christmas morning, like myself. Um, so. Yeah, it's dope to see everybody in Christmas morning. Like, hopefully they had amazing times with their family the night before. But, uh, yeah, man. It was always a special day for me to lift, for sure. Um, yeah. It's like my gym family. You know, the gym family. I always see those people. Like, the, the crazy ones were always the ones that were there Christmas morning. So, the gym family. We're going to turn up. Wow. Hopefully I can train. Yeah, I, I doubt it. Yeah. You got one um, with everyone. Yeah, we'll just do some sets, work in sets. Uh, do a walkthrough. Ah, dude. Do a walkthrough? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get stopped. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. That fucking text, dude. That text shit's crazy. So, I'll show you guys what I did. So, I sent this to 700 people. I was like, yo, pull up to the gym, right? And then everyone's like, everyone's like, is this you? Fake weights. So like, just so you know, look, like, I sent it to everyone and then I went and I replied to people's messages individually with fake weights. And I replied to this guy. Hello, Merry Christmas. Um, bet you're not down. I'll be there. Look, 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 this is hilarious, bro. Free day pass for everyone. And then I sent everyone a Merry Christmas text this morning too. But I think that's why there's so many people in here because I sent the text message. The text message is crazy, bro. It's so, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm telling you guys, I, it's hard as fuck to reply to every single message. I do my best, like I go through and I, I spent, why are we wearing the same fucking pants today? Yeah! It, bro. Son of a bitch! <laughs> um, I do my best to reply to everybody, but if you guys want to text me, here's the number, pop it up on the screen to do, pop it up one more time. But yeah, let's do a, I guess we do a walkthrough. I just wanted to fucking train though. I want to get, you know, I want to get a fucking pump. Uh, fucking, you know, upper body, dog. <laughs> Gotta get like the, the Christmas pump. This is crazy, dude. All right, man, let's. I don't, should we just try and do a walk through or should we just try and go right to a workout? Because like if, we walk walk, if we walk through, we're going to get stopped. We're going to get stopped no matter what. True. 
Might as well get it over before you start training. But what, I, what are we gonna get? There's no getting over. Like if we stop and we start taking photos, there's no stopping. It's gonna go the rest of the day. How many people do you think are in here? Yo, Augie. How many people do you think are in here? Over a hundred. Like, hey, what time was it? It's eight o'clock in the morning? Well, we open at nine. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? What are you doing here at eight? <laughs> Not me, dog. No, what were you doing? I wasn't. Oh, okay. I saw Dennis was here. Okay. He's working out. Okay. Stand on up, guys. And uh, fill out the waiver for me. But he said they started lining up at eight. I got here like at eight thirty. Okay. Come he's back. early. He's early. Of course, dog. Come yeah, on. He's, all, he's always on his shit. All right. I just want to try and work out. We gotta try and just work out, bro. Um, well, there's people already making a line. Already what? They're already just forming a line right there. I know. Um, <laughs> I know. What do we do, bro? Just gotta do it. Gotta do what? Gotta walk through it. But to work out? Huh? You still gotta get the Christmas morning workout, bro. Can we just walk in for the workout? We gotta go shoot it straight to a bench press. Nah, I mean, you're just gonna tell everyone not? Maybe take some selfies? Huh? No, I'm gonna ta I'm gonna take photos, but I I do want to like actually train too. All right. Oh, let's go to a different gym. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Because these people these people haven't been training. They've just been waiting. They train already, and now they're just waiting for you. I know. That's what's fucked though. Because then, but if I so if I start now, then everyone's gonna see and they're gonna come, and then and then it's I'm never you gonna do this. I did do this, yeah. I just wanna, I wanna get a big ass fucking photo. That's gonna be lit. Just tell everyone to do a, a, a group photo right now. A group photo right now? Yeah. Where are we gonna do it at? On the turf. Are you gonna get it? Okay, Where yeah. are you gonna take the photo from? From, like, uh, on top of the, the bench or the spot right Alright, you wanna take group photo right now? Yeah. Okay. Kill the vibe. You gonna pause it? You're gonna pause it and be like, yo! Honestly, if you just start taking a good photo and just start pointing people, everyone's gonna see. Because everyone's side eyeing right now. Everyone's what? Side eyeing. We're not trying to see that you're here, but. Side eyeing. Uh, so what, in the middle? Yeah. Alright. Where do you want to take it? Right here in the center? Yeah, so. Yeah. Hey guys, y'all want to take a group picture with Brad? Want to take a sitter? <laughs> Yo! I want to take a big photo in the middle. If y'all are down, meet me in the middle. Like a big ass photo right now. Let's do that shit. Alright. Good. Good. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> what? What are we training? We gotta get. We gotta work in with someone. We gotta work in with someone, bro. You on the bench? We gotta work in with the bench. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Expo, I helped you and like everyone's like mobbing up on you. I was That's like, right. fuck right. out. Yeah, my, my boy's boy, coming in, boy. Yeah, Wait, do you actually remember me? Yeah, hell yeah. I always remember faces. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really bad with names, though. I, I haven't been here in a while, though. It's all good. It's all you know, good. Good. gotta come rep Zoo Culture. Let's go, baby. Right there, boy. Let's go. Did you get my set? You didn't get my set of 100. Uh, come on now. Uh, I'm going with 315, bro. You just jumped in 315? Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I'm not gonna fucking hit it. I'm gonna hit a set. I'm gonna hit a set.
Alright, he fake he he loaded that PR. That's a fake PR. That's a fake. You had that already. I know, I was just too wide. Is that a real PR? Yeah. Oh that was easy. Hey, there you go. Yo, I swear to god you should go up. Uh, photo, I am from Italy. Yeah, let's do it. From Italy? <laughs> yes, from That's Rome. what's up, man. <laughs> Can I get Let's try and get some dumbbells. Thank you. Let's try and get some dumbbells. Some heavy dumbbells. Come on. I gotta get a pump so I can take this fucking sweater off. And then, and then there's a real good photo. <laughs> so light. It's all the energy. <laughs> You're good, bro. Get a pump, you wear like the over you wear the over shop with a sweater, get a pump, you take it off, bro. You take it off? See, he got the he got the thermal. He got the permanent. He got the long sleeve. You can't take that off. You got that That's not sure. Nah. But it's slippery, it's a thermal shit gonna come off. He got the Look at it. That's, that's from cool. how many, how many, how many years ago? That was like, bro, that's five, four, five years. Ah, oh, let's go, baby. 
Let's go. This is my favorite it. hat. This is my no, favorite no, no, hat. Yeah. For sure. Can I jump in with you? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I, I love I love seeing the old <laughs> the OG shit. <laughs> oh, we need more weight. Need more weight. <laughs> <laughs> First meetup ever. Yeah, yeah. First ever. Yeah, you had uh, yeah, that. That's, that's legit. Was my first meetup ever. It was. Ever. Damn. Yeah. That's that was pretty dope. That's, that's dope, bro. Thanks. That's crazy. How it all comes full circle. I really appreciate you being yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, you're a big ass motivation for me. Bro. Keep going. You know? Keep grinding. No matter like what the how emotional, like distraught I am, or like mentally or whatnot with school, with life, with relationships, whatnot. Like the gym is what keeps me going through everything. Me too. Right that's the only thing. So I'm glad I'm able to help you with that. I really appreciate you sharing all this with me. A lot. Like, that's why I do all this shit during the day. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you the photo right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. Let me get this. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, weren't you at this? Okay. Yeah, you're filming this shit. Yeah, yeah bro. And then, uh, Dom is right there. Oh, the Dom smaller guy. See how he looks smaller over here? <laughs> see? You had to zoom in to see him. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, bro. Fucking years ago. I appreciate it, man. Hell yeah. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a picture, please. Yeah. Is this, is this gonna show on the black? Um, yeah, yeah, I think it'll show. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is crazy. It's like a metallic green. I've never signed with, a, with this before. 
What's your name, man? David. David. I think a picture with you once like three years ago. Oh, oh here is. Here is. Here. Oh, here? Yeah. We're getting another New Year's, another New Year's workout for sure, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Coming, man. Thank you. That's good. What's up, brother? Pablo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> The quickest shit ever? Quickest shit ever. What do you got here, bro? Bro. It's Coke. Everything's it's a cover Coke, up, bro. It's bro, not Steve a told me that it's not Coke. Bro, in the gym. that's a pre workout. That's when you get three plates. No, this is not even pre workout. Yes, this is a pre workout. Bro, it's not. Come on, man. There's fake weights everywhere, too. Keep show, it right. show us. Show us. Pull them out. They're all around, brother. Well, bring one here. Then. No, you have to bring one here. Bench four plates, then. Yeah, go bench four plates. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sore right now. Oh, you're sore. Yeah. All of a sudden. Yeah. Until they hit two plates, and then. Oh you know, yeah. That, but was two like, plates are not there. Fake. They made you sore. Yeah. Damn, the fake plates make you sore. No, it's because some of them are 100 pounds, and other ones are like fake. You know. Oh. So it depends on which one. But you get the fake ones. Oh, okay. He's he's this he's good. This guy's good. We'll bring well. Come on. You, here, these are drugs. Go ahead. Oh, I'll take it. Go ahead. No, no, don't actually do it. Don't actually do it. See, because they're real. No, they're not real. It's just like you don't. He went to TJ. That would hurt your nose. Uh, what, I, where'd I go? TJ. TJ. What'd I do there? I got the hookers. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Who do you think you are, Steve? Steve? You know Steve's actually moving in with me? Yeah, it's in the video. Like, actually. Good luck. I know, fuck. It'll be fun, though. It'll be fun regardless. No beers, no white claws. Oh, oh, only white claws. Shit. We got some story this year. So I have some post. What's up, mama? Can I check on me? I'm still here. I'm still here? It's okay. Are you in a photo? Doing good? I'm gonna step on you. I'm gonna step on you, right? Good girl. The sweetest. One sec, one sec. Yeah, I'm gonna spot this guy real quick. One, two, three. Heavy singles, just press. Yes, for sure. Oh, he got the small guy shirt on. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he's gonna say that. Yeah, come over here, come over here. Look at this. I can barely see you, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't fuck too much shit on you now. No, Because I know he's in my comments talking <laughs> shit, bro. Oh, no, never. <laughs> oh, never. I'm in Mike's comments oh, yeah, talking shit. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Where are you guys from? I'm from Texas. You're both Pennsylvania. Damn. We're in the so, Navy. We're in San Diego. Oh, you're, you're in Pendleton? No, uh, San Diego. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait. Where in San Diego? Uh, Is it a base? Yeah. So, so the Navy's obviously not. 
the Pendleton is the Marines and shit. The Marines, okay. Yeah. Okay, my bad. No, you're good. I didn't mean to fuck that up, guys. <laughs> They'd be mad at me if I fucked that up. Definitely two different things. What part? What part is the base? Um, so there's like three bases all down there. There's one in like Point Loma. There's one on uh, 32nd Street. Well, what base are you guys at? 32nd Street. 32nd Street. 32nd Street. Yeah. Is it like, Dalton on 45? Yeah. yeah. It's like five minutes away from downtown. That doesn't sound too bad. Especially where you guys. Well, Texas is not that bad. What part of Texas? Uh, near Dallas. PA though. It's much, much better here. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. You so downtown where? <laughs> downtown where? Oh, near Dallas. Dallas. I've yeah. never been to Dallas. I gotta go to Austin too. Oh, Austin. I've been to Houston. Austin's the best place. Austin's the best place? Yeah, that's the best place. That's where I would open a gym. Yeah, hell yeah. But I appreciate you guys coming, man. Well, thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah. Come on! I get all the time people are like, oh, do you like picture picture? But I see you know, just like an internet like person. Man. You're just like, I know you're like, for the most part, a hero for most people. So. That's the only reason why I'm here, bro. Yeah, why it's like, I'm yeah. I'm literally spending, and I and I and I appreciate yeah. like for real you saying that. Yeah. But like, the whole reason why I do this on Christmas is because yeah. the gym for me was always a place where, um, specifically on Christmas, I always. Yeah. I, Sometimes I want to just like be alone. Yeah, I know for sure. Because because of, of shit in my life I know. and spending time with like all these people yeah. over the years that have been able to like be a part. Because you've known me for years. Yeah. Right. A lot of people come up to me like, oh, I, I I was at your first meetup five years ago, yeah, six yeah, years yeah. ago. To be able to spend this day with those people who have not been in my life every single day, but have been a part of my life in a way, that's what I'm here for. And like part of part of like it makes me feel like I have purpose in my life yeah. is being able to like actually do yeah, sure. and talk to people and share with people. Because yeah. that's I mean bro, it's what I wanted when I was younger. Yeah. I wanted more of that feeling. Yeah. So to be able to give it even a little bit in a way to you or to anyone else, it's a huge blessing for me. So I'm definitely more than just a fucking no, the internet person. Way more than that. Way more than that. But I appreciate you coming. Sure, man. Hey, I'm starting to be a pilot. Is you you be a pilot? Jet? That'd be lit. I got you, bro. Just don't snitch on me to the feds. <laughs> no, you know how they, <laughs> they did them dirty, man. That's what I they said. Did. You gotta follow me dirty. so I can give you free flights, man. That'd be sick. Well, you can't get free Early. flights, though. Yeah, me? You can't get free flights yeah, on privates? You can't get free flights. I could hook it up. Bro. Not on privates, bro. You, you know how much money it costs to fucking fly you one? Bet. Bro. Exactly. All right, get your pilot license and then we'll see. And it hit me how up. How would you know? Like, Message me. Show up to the gym next Christmas. You ain't gonna do it in a year, are you? Less than a year. Oh really? I didn't like. Wait, well, like, you're not gonna be flying private in less than a year. I can. You can. I could get my. I, I could get my commercial pilot in less than a year. But they won't let you fly, fly private. But you don't know that. <laughs> well, prove me wrong, man. Good to see you, man. Yeah, hell yeah. I do. I don't remember your name. Maybe Terrible you names. <laughs> I think I've, I think you met multiple times, no? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa! And then I got a fucking shirt and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. I still have that shirt. Yeah. I swear to God. Like I moved and I was getting rid of a bunch of shit, and I remember seeing it and was like, oh, I'm gonna take this. I was, I was Chipotle. Shout out Chipotle. Chipotle, you ever see this video? Just give me one of those fucking cards. You know what I'm saying? I want it so bad so I get to see Chipotle. Cause the one right down the street. Like I, I want English cards. Of course. So, you look so much bigger in person. Hey, Bradley. What's good? What, what do you have to say to your fans in Mexico? Yo, shout out Mexico. I gotta take a trip out there. I don't know exactly where to go, but I'll be there. You're amazing. You're Appreciate so big. It. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, yo, he said I look bigger in person. FYI. Fuck you, you look, dog. You look 
I love bigger. Oh, yeah, let's go. Did you drive up to Mexico? Yeah. Today. We drove because we're flying, my family and I are flying to, to Europe, so, so like, we can't, we're, we're flying from LA. So, oh, got it. Makes sense. So, yeah. Right on. Good to have you. Yeah. Good to meet you. To meet you. Right Can on. I take a picture? Let's do it. Yeah. Where'd you come from? Serbia, Europe. Serbia? Eastern Europe, what the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> what are you doing in LA? Uh, just living here now. Right yeah. on. Nice, man. Working out, you know. Hell yeah. Yeah. Is it like uh, Serbia, bro? I feel like I need to take a trip or something. Yeah, you should. Is it nice there? Yeah, it's a uh, weather nice. Bar party it sounds place. cold as fuck. Uh, yeah, it's four season. Right now it's cold, but a lot of parties, a lot of girls. Really? Yeah. yeah. In Serbia? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Do they do they do they send it there? Are they lit there? Who? People in Serbia are they lit? Are they are they dope? Oh do they yeah, party, yeah. Do they party hard? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Why to take a trip? Let's get a photo. Yeah. 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 Where did you where did you come from? Can we uh, talk Sandimus. to us? San Dimas. Yes. An hour drive. An hour drive. And he been, you've been following me since like what was Tuesday. Fuck, dude. Like a hundred <laughs> years ago. <laughs> seven, seven. Seven. Long time, bro. My brother is a big fan of you. All he does is talk about you all the time. He's like, hey, hey, hey. let's <laughs> go, baby. Let's go. He likes my, like my phone. Bro, I'd be on that yeah. shit. I'd be all over social media. I love that. I love that. Oh, like, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I really like it. I appreciate, appreciate you being a part of it. For real. Thank you. Even Rusty Nia had to come here, man. I couldn't miss it. Damn. What are you hitting, though? Uh, oh, yeah, hey, let's go, baby. <laughs> no, like this, yeah, let's go. Fuck like I mean, no, but like is important, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. It's all good, man. Don't worry right about it. Right on. You, you guys are all from San Dimas? Yeah, we're all from San Dimas. Oh, there's a lot of people from San Dimas, too. What's that? Positive. What about him? You gotta meet him, too. <laughs> you haven't met him? Never met him. Oh, man. I met his parents, I've never met him before. Where'd you meet his parents at? At an event. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so random. That's yeah. fucking random. That's so, so traditional Syrian sweets, and he wanted to bring you something. He's like, maybe he's on the third. What the fuck are they at? See, I told you. I have some. I'll bring some. Right, I would've ate some. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hungry right now. Syrian sweets. Yeah, bring some sometime. I'm down. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. But I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Good to see you. Where at? Yeah. Good? You in a PR? Are you in a PR? He's in a PR. PR dog. Let's go. Yeah, nobody. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Up, 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 up. Up. Woo! Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, you doing good? Yeah. Okay. Um, what else should we hit? Look at her. Look at her. Look at she is now. Zoom in on Bam. Zoom in on Bam. Hey, Bam. Look at her. He's like, who will play with me? Who's gonna play with me? Every day, bro. All right, bro. I'm busy. When, when is the first time we met? Uh, I met you before, for sure. Yeah, it was uh, when I first signed up here, I think, months ago. Yeah. yeah you sure. been good? Huh? You been good? I've been good, bro. Just, like I said, busy. Sweet Christmas morning. <laughs> you get any presents? Huh? You get any presents? Yes, arm day right here, bro. Got this present right here. Got two presents. <laughs> Trying to unwrap them. That was such a dumb thing to say. Yeah, Fuck, bro. I've been hanging out with Dom too long. But yeah, two two presents. I'm trying to get the wrapping off right now. Uh, hopefully in my stocking, I got some uh, some wax. To get all this fucking hair off my back. Oh, if you guys want to see a wax video, if you want to see me get waxed, um, drop like some likes. Maybe maybe. But no, we already did the likes in a different video, huh? Remember that? For the waxing. For the next one. No, next one. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It's in a different video. Go watch the video that's coming next and vote for the for the uh, for the waxing, which is literally one of the most painful things. You know where it's really painful? The most painful part? See right here. This area. It's like maybe it's because it's never really touched. That's what Mike said uh, was the worst spot for the tattoo. Yeah, this is the most painful spot. To oh, is that what Mike said for real? Yeah, yeah. It must be like you must have a bunch of nerves there. It's like where your lat connects to your like lower mid back. Shitty dude. Um. <laughs> 
to a degree. It does matter, yeah, because that might be like your platform, or it might be the thing you get people to come in off of, but it's more important, like your story, what yeah. you're sharing I, the way, I, you share your life. I saw like Tristan Lee and stuff, he did like a podcast or something, yeah. and do you think it's like, do you think it's feasible to not be that successful, because that's really just like you gotta be lucky, but do you think it's possible for someone my age that works hard to be somewhat successful? I mean, it's, it's possible for anyone, I think. But like I said, instead of focusing on being successful, yeah, focus on like how how do you think you're gonna be able to get people to be a part of what you're doing? Yeah, that's what you should try to figure out. Cause I started a YouTube channel, that's so why I got my camera. I got it. I told you, Santa. What are you sharing? Like what? So don't, don't answer right now. I want you to think about this. What videos are you making? What's the purpose? Like what are you giving to people? Like what? Like when you film your videos, are you teaching them something? Are you showing them something? It's not enough to just look a certain way. Yeah. Because everyone can look a certain way. It's more like what do you have to say? What are you gonna show? What are they gonna learn from you? I wanna motivate and like just get people to like better themselves and things. You gotta like figure that. out why is that important to you. It's just I don't know, I just like doing fitness stuff and I think you gotta you gotta go harder, go deeper than that. Why is it important? Because once you figure out why it's important to you, then you can share that with people. But if it's just like I just want to share it, everyone wants to do that. Why is it important for you to do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got you don't need to know it right now. It's okay. I didn't know it when I was 16. I had no fucking idea. I learned it over time. So the point is like over time you just gotta think about why am I doing it? Not just because other people are doing it and they're successful at it. Think about why you wanna do it. Like more than I just wanna help. It's why do you wanna help? You gotta go deeper. How did you become what you are today? I mean bro, you can go on YouTube. I just videos and everything I've done is all there. Just, like I said, I always try to focus more on this. Like this moment right now, yeah. me standing talking to you, sharing with you, that's what people are able to get value out of. Like that's why you came to talk to me. Yeah. Right? Because I'm sharing it with you. I'm trying to I'm trying to help. Yeah. How can you help through your own way with everyone watching you? That's the question. So you gotta think about that. Like not just you wanna help, why do you want to help? Okay. Why is it important for you to give help? And once you can answer that, then you can start to become more successful. But you, you need to know that. If you don't, everyone's just doing the same thing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I should probably like think a little better. Like, no, it takes time, bro. You're 16. It takes time. I didn't know until I was like 
Honestly, even when I was doing this in the beginning, I didn't know. I learned along the way. That's the thing, you learn along the way. When I was 16, I had no fucking idea. I was just living my life and trying to be happy. You know, and then as I got older, I started to learn more of what was for me. So keep it up, man. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I gotta keep it on, bro. What else should we hit? God damn, I should shave, bro. I should shave. Yeah. Professional at this shit now. Oh, hell yeah. You can't freehand your own logo? Oh, I just freehand it. What the fuck do you mean? Nah, you had to put a little more. That's piece. couture, bro. <laughs> That's couture. That's like one, you know? Everything uh, is. No, you can't, you can't draw his own logo. How long, couture. Has, how long has it been your logo? Forever, bro. And you can't, and you can't freehand it? Couture means one of a kind, bro. Right? That's what it means? No idea. Couture. Watch, look. One. That's how you do it. You draw five, and then you connect the dots. Boom. You see? I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't really got a great, you know? It's better here. It's better here. How'd you get started when I finished it? I just started, bro. You started? Yeah, man. It's funny, everyone always kind of asks the same thing, like, I can't tell you guys how many times people hit me and they're like, same questions, like, that other kid, 16, he's like, oh, I want to be popular. So, what well, doesn't matter, right? It could be any age. To everyone listening, too. It's just kind of like, I just started. This wasn't a thing. When I started, this wasn't like, people weren't doing YouTube like this. Instagram wasn't around. You, yeah, when I was 18, it like just started. But no one was doing shit like this. So, I didn't, I didn't do this because I wanted to be popular on YouTube. Like, I started training, like, way before there was social media and people were making money and doing this whole business shit with fitness. I just trained because it meant a lot to me. Um, and then this kind of became something else. Do you, do you remember how you got started in just fitness in general? Not well, it's, it's like, it's, yeah. you're, you're, it's interesting because it's like you're trying to complicate it. I just started. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just worked out because it meant something to me. I trained and I, I focused on trying to be stronger and better because I needed that for myself. Um, and then as time went on, I was like, oh, I can do this YouTube thing. And after I was doing Instagram, I was like, let me try and try and do this. But I didn't know like it was gonna be this. But when I so you asked me that question is how did I get started? I just was training. And this and then it's like, oh, I can do this. I'll do this. But I didn't start training because I wanted to do this. I was training because I wanted to train for myself. And then this became something, oh, I could, I could do this now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people do it reverse. They're like, oh, I want to start being a fitness guy so I can make videos. I started working out for myself. That's the important thing, you gotta understand, like, now everyone does it, right? Why are you doing it? That's what's important. Because if you wanna be able to, like, do this, you need something to say. You need to be able to share something. Because everyone's doing it. Why, why is it important for you to do it? And I was just talking to a kid about the same thing. I, I do it because it's like diabetes runs in my family, everything runs in my family, obesity, everything. So it's like for me, it's I want to change my family way because I want to be my own, I want to set my own path. Yeah. To, like not towards diabetes, not that's, towards See, obesity. that's significant. So Most, like, That's very significant. That's, that's powerful. Yeah. You can share that story. A lot of people say, oh, I want to do it because I want to help. Yeah. And that question is, I always say, why do you guys want to help? Why do you want to help? That's specific. That's more specific. That's closer to your why. I was 200 pounds. I'm 5'5", five, five, 200 pounds and never touched the weight. Yeah. And then I was like, this is, this is, no, I'm not heading down the same path. Yeah. So I started, That's powerful. Yeah. So I started working out and I dropped from two, two, 205 to 160 and I do powerlifting. Yeah. So I am national qualified for powerlifting. Right on, man. I'm proud of you. you that's, so that's the thing. Like if you do all this, yeah, work out, powerlift, do, do what you enjoy. And the way you want to like make a YouTube or make videos, like share that story, like why you're doing it and the things you learned along the way. Because obviously at some point, like, you're going to keep learning, you're going to keep growing. Share those things, right? Why you started, that's significant. You don't want to continue to go on the same path as 
the other people in your family. And there is significance in that. And other people listening might have something similar or something different, but maybe that's why they want to break a chain, break that chain so you don't go down the same road, right? Um, that's the kind of story you want to share alongside with the lifting. Because this is not enough. Everyone does it, right? Why else are you doing it? Why else is it important to you? And that's, and that's important. So keep it up, bro. That, so when you talk about getting started, just start. Make a video and be like, yo, this, this is my journey. I've always wanted to ask, how did you and Mike get into this? I met Mike at a fucking gym. For real? Yeah, we just started filming videos together. And then fucking, he became Dom? He was always, he was already playing Dom. He was? The character, he was already Dom. Yeah. You know Mike is not Dom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, no, I, I, It was I, like he, Mike no. transformed into this guy. No, I, I, uh, okay. I've, I've watched y'all ever since I He was already, right, he was doing, he was doing, YouTube before I was doing YouTube. Oh, okay. So I knew, I used to watch his videos. I still watch his videos, and I still watch our videos. Now, I saw him and I was like, oh, that's the guy who does the bro science in Dama City. Let me go talk to him. That's how it started. And I just met him, I was like, yo, I love your shit. We became friends and then we started working together. It just took, it, you know, that happened over a course of years. It wasn't like the next day, you know? So. Thank you so much of course, for opening man. your gym. Hell yeah, thank it's you. Thanks for find, coming today. Yeah, it's hard to find gyms open on Christmas. So. Bro, it's, it's, a, it's a little tradition of mine. We're always going to do it. Merry Christmas, though, Merry man. Merry Christmas. Yeah. You got time in your set to come take a big photo right over here with me. If, if you got, like, break, you know, rest time, real quick. Right over here, please. Yeah? Photo? Thank you guys for all the fucking love. Thank you for all the support. I want to tell you guys something significant. Come over here, Nadine. Let me talk to you. Uh, I just want to say, I'm gonna tag you. I'm gonna tag everyone. I'm gonna tag everyone. I swear to God. I will. I'm gonna try. I'll do my best. Yo, so I want to say really quickly. Um, it's been like, God, dude, how many years? Like fucking seven years. And a lot of the people I still see year after year at it, whether it be at an expo, here at the gym for Christmas, here at the gym for New Year's, or just throughout the year. And I wanna say from the bottom of my fucking heart, I appreciate you guys. If you guys were here and you see this video later, thank you for coming. If you guys weren't here, I still appreciate every single one of you who showed me love over the years. It's a fucking blessing and people ask me all the time, what does it feel like to be able to do what you love um, for a living? I, and they ask me and they, and they tell me that they want to do it. I fully support anyone who wants to do something that they love for a living because it's, it's the biggest gift I think anyone could have. And I want to tell you this, uh, it's definitely work no matter what, 
But if you love it, you'll be willing to put in that work to go the extra mile. And you guys have made this so fucking special for me over the years. Like genuinely, I just want to say from the bottom of my fucking heart, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And this is truly my family. And that is why, fuck, it's so fucking important to me to do things like this. Because like I said earlier to that dude when I was over there by the squat rack, um, my whole life growing up, uh, I always felt a little like, not alone on Christmas. I, I spent time with my family until I moved out. And then I, uh, I, I don't know, I always felt like, I always felt better in the gym growing up. So being able to share like a moment like this for Christmas with you guys is just very, very, very special to me. And I know I'm saying a lot, but I just really want to boil it down to like, I'm fucking grateful. Like, I love meeting you guys. I love being able to interact with you guys on social. I love the best that I can to do that. I love being able to like be in this position and I'm just grateful for you guys. Like, I don't know what else to say other than like, uh, it's all a fucking dream to me. And, and it's, it's almost like, it's like seeing shit like this, man. It's insane. I mean, there's like, there's gotta be like 150 people, I don't know, 200 people in here. People come in and out throughout the day, and it's like, you know, when I was younger, I dreamed about this kind of shit. I, I remember telling my mom when I was 17, I was like, I'm gonna do this fitness thing for real. And I remember she told me, she was like, yeah, you know, uh, me and your dad, we did it too. And I was like, no, I'm gonna do this like for real, for real. And um, I guess I'm doing it now. And I wanna tell you guys, if you have a dream like that or something that you think is important to you, someone else tells you, oh, maybe not, maybe try this or try that, fuck it, man. I say go for it, 100% go for it. I can, I'm like living proof that it's, this shit's not easy. It's gonna take a lot more time than you probably want it to take, but you can do it. So, to anyone out there who has a, a goal or a dream that seems very far away or seems like it's gonna take very long to get to or you see someone like on the internet that you really look up to and you're like, man, I wanna do what that person's doing. Remember, like I said to these few kids, because I always get asked that same question. You guys have to figure out why it's important to you. Not just because you want to help, not just because you want to inspire, not just because you want to like do fitness or whatever it is the person that you look at is doing. You gotta figure out why do you want to do it? Why is it important to you? Because when the shit gets tough, if you don't know why it's important to you, you say fuck it, you let it go, you move on, you, you find something else, you do something that you think might be easier. But I promise you guys, the most like, fulfilling things are the things at the end of the line where it's like man that was hard as fuck to get to but now I'm here and in every moment of it you can be very very grateful for it. and even along the way when it's hard as shit every moment of that you're gonna look back as, as shitty as it might have seemed along the way I promise you guys if you're not there yet and if you're there you probably relate to this every moment even of the shittiest times you're gonna look back on it when you're there because you wanted to get there and you kept working to get there you'll look back on it and be like fuck even that shitty stuff made all this worth it so I love you guys. Merry fucking Christmas. I hope you guys watch the video. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn the post notifications on. This is for our channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is. This actually makes sense. Life of Bradley Martin, I guess. We put that there. Not the fitness, even though this is super fitness related. Um, every Wednesday, 5.30. Yes. Post notifications, be back. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had a wonderful time with your families. Um, this is my fucking family right here. You guys are my family and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my fucking heart. Thank you. Subscribe. Uh, more coming soon. That is it. Thank you guys.